Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. How have you all been doing? Um, how's your week been? How's your weekend? How's your week been? Everything really. I'm going to repeat it. How's your week been? Okay, brain's not working clearly. Um, I'm trying to fit in some filming because downstairs under the house they're doing some drilling. So it's been a bit of a battle trying to film today, to say the least. Um, having serious issues trying to film actually. Alfie, I also have... I also have a very depressed dog and the reason for that is is he doesn't like when there's strangers in the house and the strangers all in the house and he's freaking out aren't you say hi everyone hello he's really not appreciating this because the ring light's staring him in the face anyway today's video i actually saw on my friend caitlin's channel um and she called it i think it was top five beauty products which are like game changers um so basically products in her makeup collection that you know, she doesn't know how she lived without before. Um, I think that was kind of, that's kind of what I took from it. Um, so that is what I'm going to do. So I've selected five products um, that I put into a little makeup bag here. And I'm going to go through all of them and explain why I love them, when I got them, why are they game changers, all that good stuff. So if you want to um, hear some of my makeup favorites, please keep watching. So the first item, I'm sure you'll stick to death of seeing this all over Instagram, YouTube, um, even most of my friends rave about this and it is the CC um, Your Skin But Better uh, Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream from IT Cosmetics. Now this to me is absolutely the most important um, product in my makeup bag. Um, it is so you know it covers everything. I don't really like full coverage foundation unless I'm going kind of out for out for a dance or something like that but most day to day um, I just wear something quite light and this also has a 50 um, SPF in it which is just incredible so when I was away this is all I wore um, one thing I'm not a fan of is it has got quite a disappointing shade range um, I think I really need to amp that up um, I've been using this for about a year now I've heard it's being discussed on um, YouTube about two years ago a year and a half um, and so I had to try it for myself to see if it was one of those things that was just being recommended because everyone was being censored or something, or if it was really as good as everyone said. And I'm happy to report it is as good as everyone said. Um, I mean, it's what I've got on today, and I can just bronzer it up and make my face. I have it in the color light. It comes, I think, in fair light. I don't know the other colors. And medium. They're the three colors that I go between. So I don't know the other ones. Um, but yeah, this is just incredible. Um, I recommend picking this up. If you see this in your local Sephora, you need to buy it because you can't um, buy this anywhere in Australia apart from Sephora and it goes in and goes straight out of stock within hours. So whenever they email me saying it's in stock, I just click it, put it in my cart and get so excited. So this is, as you can see, a pretty brand new tube. Well, it is brand new. I haven't used it. Um, my other one looks a little manky, so I thought I'd bring out one of the new ones. <laughs> so next on my list is something I'm sure you've all heard of before as well. Um, then it gets to some other different things. Um, but again, it is by NARS and it is the Laguna Bronzer, which I've actually uh, hit pan on. Wow, this, this is good. I have lots of bronzes in my collection. I have one from Hourglass, Guerlain, um, Chanel, YSL, um, Too Faced, just lots. And this is the only one that I can find that works well in photos. Um, it doesn't make me go a weird gray color or like dirty gray color. Um, and also looks quite natural because it's winter now in Melbourne and I'm quite a fair skin person. And I have one now and I would say it's quite natural. Um, I just, this is fantastic. And again, everyone always raves about this. Um, but for me, this is a serious game changer. So the third item I'm going to share with you all is a fairly new product. And I know a lot of you guys here in Australia won't have tried it. If you are in Europe or the US, you might have. It's much more likely that you have because they actually don't ship to Australia yet. They keep saying it's coming soon, but seriously, when's it coming? Anyway, it is from the brand Glossier. It is this gorgeous pink tube and it is their lash stick. This, I tell you, this is a game changer. <laughs> I'm saying all these things are game changers, but I'm telling you, these five products I could not live without. If I had to go to a desert island, these are the five products, seriously. I'm um, not including like brushes and whatnot. Um, this 
it's just your lash and better um for an everyday lash like what i've got on today i just want natural lashes i don't want lots of um you know big clumpy lashes and this makes your lashes just look like really thin i don't know how to describe this really but basically they just look like i know basically they just look like you have got eyelash extensions done really really well so they're not massive um, or anything but it just makes your lashes look natural but fuller and with more like extension on them i don't know what i'm trying to say but this is absolutely gorgeous so if you haven't tried this yet wait you're going to love it um, i had this for about three months now i got it when they first launched it so about three months ago and it's the only it's the only thing i took on holiday with me so i absolutely love this so my next item is a beauty blender and i'm so sorry please excuse all the dirtiness on it um i did use it today it was clean and then i used it probably black is it kind of really actually you think it doesn't show makeup as much but it shows it probably more than any of the other colors um now i never used to use this i've had beauty blenders throughout the years and i could never get the hang of them i wet them i did everything i just didn't like how it applied my makeup fast forward maybe four years i don't use anything else to apply my foundation to apply powder to help with my concealer this is what i use i do use brushes for contouring and highlighting um, and eyeshadows and eyebrows and things like that but this if you haven't got, I think most of you are probably on the bandwagon of this, but in case you're not on the bandwagon of this, you need to have one of these. You get this at Sephora, um, or if you're in London, Self just have them. Everywhere has them in London. You're not like Australia where there's like one shop that you can buy these. Um, but yeah, this is incredible. So technically this is my last item, but I have one little cheeky one that's kind of got its way in because it's literally my favorite thing ever so the last official product in this top five game changers in makeup is the nars soft matte concealer now i'm much more of a glowy girl as opposed to um, matte however and this is what the lady in the store told me and i tell you what she's right because that is nearly finished <laughs> um she said just put a little bit on and if you use a really good brush or beauty blender and dab it i hate that word dab 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 <laughs> If you just dab dab a bit over your chin, that's where I have my problems area. Um, it just goes kind of down flat and it's not highlighting like a lot of concealers are. So this is incredible. I've had this for about nine or ten months now. And again, I don't use any other concealer for covering up my spots or anything that needs a bit more coverage. So my last item, unofficially, is something that a lot of you have probably heard about. Um... Or maybe you haven't actually, but it is the Lush Bubble Gum Lip Scrub. Now, I never used to use a lip scrub, but I tell you what, I've used some different ones recently because I lost my one of these and just haven't had a moment to run into Lush. And the other ones I use, I'm not going to name them because they are quite well known brands. <laughs> but, but, um, just didn't do the same thing. They were great lip scrubs, but I want the lip scrub so when I put it on my lips and, you know, rub your lips, the, if there's any dry skin from the night or if you've got dry lips, it comes off. The other ones I was using, um, you put it on and you take it off with a cloth or something and you still have residue of the lip balm, I mean the lip scrub, and it just did nothing special. Where this, a few swipes of this, you are literally ready to go. And also I'd always use one of these when applying lipstick or any lip products. This is an absolute must. It's kind of like prepping your lips, I guess. Just gets rid of any dead skin or, you know, something that might be stuck on your lips so that is it for my top five game changing makeup products i think i said that correctly not sure um but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, i'd love to hear down below in the comments uh what your top five products are or top one or just some products that you love because i love trying out new products i don't know about you um and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join the YouTube family. I post videos hopefully once, twice, three times a week, kind of depending if it's busy or not. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, oh, oh.